again. In this question, we have to find the image of the y-axis under this particular transformation. All right, just looking at it, we can see it is a linear transformation. I'll just write it out as a matrix. Uh, we, well, we get 1, 1, so that'll be the top line, and we get 1, minus 1, so that'll be the bottom line. So there's the matrix that represents this transformation. Now, if you have a linear transformation, non-singular, then the image of a straight line will be another straight line. We should just, you know, out of, out of habit, check that the determinant is not equal to zero. And in this case, it's negative one. That is, those two multiply by take away those two multiply, which is negative two. So the determinant is not equal to zero. So we have a non-singular linear transformation. Therefore, the image of a straight line will be another straight line. Okay, let's starting off with, we've got the y-axis as our straight line to start with. So, you know, here's the y-axis. And we can choose any two points along that y-axis. Now, the, the simplest point, of course, is the point 0, 0. And I'll just choose one up there. That can be the point uh, 0, 2. So there's my two starting points. You can, this will work whichever two points you choose on your starting line. So then we apply our transformation on the point 0, 0, and then on the point 0, 2. We can do them both at once. Just multiply these to see what happens to them. So just multiplying these two matrices, matrices on 1 and 0, we're going to get 0 there. 1 times 0, 1 times 2, that'll give us a 2 there. And so that'll give you a 0 there, and 1 times 1, that'll give you negative 2 there. Okay, so the these were the source points, and these are the image points. The source points came from our source line, and the image points are points on our image line. Now, so we end up with points 0, 0, and the point 2, negative 2. Okay, there's our two points. Um, if they were more complicated points, you know, these two, you might have to find the gradient between them and then the y-intercept and so on to find the equation of that line. But these are actually very simple points. If I do a very quick picture, you'll see exactly where they are. 0, 0 is clearly here. And 2, negative 2 is here. Oops, that's the y. So the line between them is this one. And hopefully you remember the equation. This is this is y equals negative x, and uh, that's that's the question finished. In, in other situations, there might be a bit more work to do to find the image line. So we can just write a conclusion here. Um, the how should we say this? The image of the y-axis under t is y equals negative.